Welcome to my channel. I will review the romantic fantasy movie A Werewolf Boy from Park, Bo Young, and Song Jung Ki. The film takes us back to 47 years ago. We can see a beautiful girl who is actually grandmother Sun Yi and her mother and sister working together. They transport goods from the car into the house, assisted by neighbors. However, a man in a suit somehow refuses to help them. He is just watching instead when all the items have been brought into the house. Soon Yi's mother invites the neighbors who have helped her out to dinner together as a token of gratitude. They then gather at the dining table. Suddenly, a person asks about the girl's father. The girls don't say anything. Their mother then says that their father died two years ago. Then someone asks about Soon Yi's school, but her mother replies that Soon Yi doesn't go to school because she has a lung disease that forces her to study at home. Suddenly, the people who care it not in understanding. Then someone asks again about the man in the suit who didn't help at all. His mother also replies that he was the one who bought this house because he was his father's business partner. After carrying it, the people can only be silent. Meanwhile, Sumi still hasn't touched her food because she feels uncomfortable with her neighbor, who looks dirty while eating. She loses her appetite and chooses to leave the dining table. When Soon Yi is ready to sleep because she is tired, she hears something from her bedroom window, which wakes her up and scares her. Soon Yi goes to her sister's room and wakes her up, but her sister doesn't want to wake up. With a heavy heart, she goes out alone to check the source of the sound. She slowly traces it and enters the worn-out warehouse. And there she opens the door and screams loudly. The next morning, one of the neighbors comes to give boiled potatoes. The neighbor says that last night he heard a scream. He says that they must be careful in this area because wolves are often roaming around. Her mother thanks the neighbor for giving them boiled potatoes and concerning them. Meanwhile, Sun Yi, who is drying clothes, is approached by her mother. She tells her to hurry up and study. While chatting, Sun Yi suddenly sees something near the old warehouse where she went last night. Her mother lures it out with boiled potatoes, and a man comes out. He looks as filthy as a tramp. Her mother then gives the man more of the boiled potatoes, and he devours them immediately. Sun Yi is disgusted to see the man, and she goes straight into her house. Meanwhile, her confused mother decides to take this man to the district office to find out his identity. However, when she gets there, she finds out that he is not registered in any family. Somebody there tells her that he may be an abandoned child and that sooner or later, he will be taken to an orphanage because there is no clear background about him. While waiting to be taken to an orphanage, he will be taken care of by Sun Yi's family. Arriving at the house, the man who has been silent for a long time is forced to clean himself and change clothes because it smells so bad. While taking a bath, he is helped by Sun Yi's mother because the man can't do anything. After that, they eat together at the dining table. The family is surprised when the man eats so messy and even takes others' meals. His actions make Sun Yi angry with her mother, who decides to take care of the man. She then chooses to go into her room. The next day at breakfast, Sun Yi refuses to eat together because the man eats like an animal. After having breakfast, Sun Yi's mother and sister left. Only Sun Yi and the man are at home. Sun Yi, who is bored, chooses to take a book to study. However, the book is crushed under the heavy cardboard, making it difficult for her to take it. Unknowingly, the man is already behind her. Soon Yi, who is shocked, withdraws. When the man gets closer to her, she screams and closes her eyes. But the man just wants to help her lift the box. After seeing that, Soon Yi stands up in shock. She thought the man would tease her. She gives the man corn as a sign of gratitude. Then, from the direction of the door, comes a man in a suit named Ji Tae. Ji Tae approaches Soon Yi and says that she doesn't need to work hard because he will marry Soon Yi. After caring that Soon Yi bluffs and flatly refuses Ji Tae's offer. However, Ji Tae holds Soon Yi's wrist and pulls her tightly. But suddenly his wrist slips as the quiet man squeezes Ji Tae's hand really hard. Ji Tae is frightened and immediately steps back, then leaves. After seeing that, Soon Yi is silent and she realizes that this man is actually a good person. The next day, Soon Yi boils potatoes while asking her mother where the man is. Then her mother replied, Are you looking for Chiao Su? Soon Yi asked, Who is Chiao Su? His mother said that from now on, the man is called Chiosu. Meanwhile, in another place, Sunyi's sister and her friends are running and Chiosu follows them. They are playing baseball. Sunyi, too, comes to her sister panting. They then stop playing and approach Sunyi. Her sister asks what Sunyi has in her pocket. Sunyi takes it out and it is a boiled potato to give to Chiosu to teach him how to eat well. When she hands the potato to Chiosu, he devours it impatiently. Soon Yi tries to hold him, but her hand is bitten by Chiao Su, causing it to bleed a little. Chiao Su looks annoyed, but Soon Yi hands him another boiled potato patiently. This time, she gives him a condition. If she says wait, then Chiao Su can't eat it. After that, Soon Yi points the potato in front of Chiao Su's face, but she says wait so that Chiao Su can only stare at the potato. 
As soon as Sunyi allows him to eat, she also devours the potato. Sunyi, who saw Chi also obeying her words, then strokes Chi Su's hair. Arriving at the house, Sunyi is ready at the dining table to eat together. However, her mother is astonished when she sees that her daughter suddenly wants to eat with Chi Su. Usually, she doesn't like eating together because Chi Su eats messily. Soon Yi ignores the look on her mother's face and instead tells her to call Chi Su, who is locked in the room. Chi Su comes running from the room to the dining room. He immediately devours the rice hurriedly. Seeing that Soon Yi immediately says wait, making Chi Su immediately frozen when he hears it. Then Soon Yi says eat and Chi Su complies. Everybody is stunned to see that. After that, Soon Yi teaches Chi Su a lot of things. When Chi Su does it well, she will gently pat his head. In the morning, Sunyi cuts Chiol Su's hair because it's too long. While busy cutting hair, Sunyi's mother wants to rush to the market and asks Sunyi and her sister to come with her to buy household supplies. They ended up going to the market together. When they arrive at the market, they look at the good things they should buy. And also they will buy clothes for Chiol Su. But when Sunyi and her mother are picking out clothes, Chiol Su is not behind them. And when they look for him, it turns out that Chiol Su is a food vendor. When she is about to pay for the food that Chiol Su bought from above, a long iron falls and is about to hit Sunyi. Seeing that, Chiol Su immediately holds the iron with his back. But strangely enough, he doesn't fall at all, nor does he faint, and he doesn't even suffer any serious injuries. At night, Ji Tae, with a drunk woman, wants to spend their time together at a hotel. They are busy chatting so they don't focus on the road and hit the goat barn fence. The goats scattered out and some died when they hit them. They quickly turn the car around and run away, and it just so happens that Chiol Su just comes out of his house. When he sees that, Chiol Su immediately picks up the dead goat and gives it to its owner. After that, he leaves. The next day, Sunyi teaches Chiol Su how to write and spell text. Little by little, Chiol Su finally understands. Then Sunyi plays the guitar and sings in front of Chiol Su. And when the song ends, See you soon with part two of Song Junkie Movie.